Okay, guys, we're here playing some Eldrazi Tron in a prelim. Four rounds of modern. Um, opponent, round one is so Mick Winsauce. Very prominent control player. Very good. I'll be keeping this hand. Has map with Mattery Shaper. Has potential for Tron. Opponent could be playing control, could be playing whatever. They've been playing a bunch of other random stuff somewhat recently, so possible it could be anything. Who knows? <laughs> well, looks like they are on control. Let's jam this bad boy into a shaper. How can we lose? Exactly. Is he trying a new format? I think it's like finish. Hmm. Says that he's triple queuing, but I doubt he's actually triple queuing. Guessing this is going to get bolted. Well, I guess we'll be jamming that next turn. Can't really not do that, right? Got the mana leak. Oh, final move with his meme host. Classic. Has the mana leak, SMH my head. I mean, I have to jam, like, they only have like two, maybe three mana leaks max. <laughs> We're in 60, okay. I'll just smash it down, I think. Maybe attacking them is better, but I think taking out Ren and Six is fine still. Looks like they're playing four color. Let's attack here, see what they do. Play this for one. I'll almost assuredly tech edge this celestial colonnade. Should have played my land first. Wow. That's wild. Wait, got rid of spell snare. I have to use another. Very confused by this. They have Lightning Helix, I guess. Is there a line of play? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Cool. This is another chalice and double bolt smasher. Good question. I think just getting Mystic Forge here. Actually, I'll get coding. Coding is bad if they have, like, another Helix, but I don't think they do. They could have Snap Helix if they draw another land, but they didn't, so we got them in the end. Mystic Forge is probably the more reasonable line, probably, I would have to assume. So if they're on four color, we kind of need to leave in our Dismembers, because they almost surely have Omnath. Mm, need to have a good answer to it. I think we can cut like an all's dust for a relic of progenitus. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't think I want to do any other changes here. Not run six. Yep. Yeah. I mean that was pretty pretty good for the smasher there. 
Greentron over Greentron. I think Greentron, uh, most of the hate for it used to be at 3 mana. Now most of the hate for it's at 2 mana. Um, kind of hard. I mean, this hand's basically the same hand that I had last time, right? So I'll keep it. It's not great, but it's acceptable. But basically, Greentron folds to a lot of hate that um, uh, Eldrazi Tron does not fold to as much. It's got mid-range elements. Can make it play a lot better here. Hmm. Oh, Ground Sanctuary. Snapcaster Mage. Um, Renin Six. I'd have to assume against both of those cards is good. You can feel the wound. So I'm gonna take this out. I don't want to play out a 1 1 Ballista pretty poor against like a Renin 6. I think I just want to go get Cavern of Souls, but I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that or not. Red, green. I want to do this to play around Force Negation. Because um, I think Force Negation. Uh, keeping their Elmath alive would be, be pretty bad for us. Whereas now, if they have to use Force Negation to get rid of Karn. Since we drew a second Karn, it's not as bad for us. I have to assume Force Negation is going to be coming down. I'm going to plus on nothing. I don't want to plus on this map because it can die and I kind of want to go get a land with it. And I don't want my Karn to just be super susceptible to just a, uh, like a Bolt or a Lightning Helix. And if they have to use double removal spell on this, that's somewhat acceptable for me as well. And I think that there's a possibility they have, like, Answer to Fairy. It's not the end of the world. We have stuff like uh, Sorcerer Spyglass to go get versus it. Hmm. Problem is like mana leak here now. Do obviously get super punished if they have some way to counter those. They don't, but they do have an answer to it. Unfortunate that we like drew one of our ways again, so Yeah, this this game's actually just over. Um could have played slightly differently to be fine, but probably not versus how their hand actually was. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Um, it's unfortunate that we drew the waste, because I think that greatly influenced how the game actually, like, how it would actually be played out. We actually had a pretty nice hand against them, it just, like, did not pan out very well for us. Yeah, I'll keep this in. I don't want to play this out because of Cleansing Wildfire. Um, that they already show that they have in their deck. And we also have outs to um, just like draw tower as well. How are we doing? We're 1 and 1, game 3, kept the 7. That's really good for us if they don't have the. Uh, 
one mana counter spell, which they may have here. Especially because they lit on that. Unfortunate. Not much we can do about that. We I mean, have to play out our spells here. They have to um, use a path or snapcast to make sure to get me. Yeah, I mean, th these are like worst case scenarios happening to us where they have the rejection into like snap rejection. But I mean, there's like nothing we can do about it. It's just the way it goes. Looks like they're going to have Omnath here or Jace. What's that? That's possibly beatable. Tower here would actually be really nice. We can jam again. Just have like mana leak as well. Yeah. They just like have everything, so. Oof. Pretty hard for us. Pretty hard for us this game. Not much we could have done. I think uh, hand was like good. Just opponents has the goods as well. But you know, game's not over yet. We still have possible outs to win. Let's have cryptic command. No, oh, okay. Bolt, bolt. I guess they'll bolt plus use that. I guess that's their game plan. So I can't take whatever uh, they like draw with it. Makes sense. Well, so they had two draw steps essentially here. Palnade. Palnade is very beatable. Not quite what I was looking to see. I wanted to be able to, like, all this dust their board. Hmm. <laughs> Do I like anime? Yes. I watch a lot of anime, read a lot of manga. Not a lot of manga, but I read some manga. <laughs> I am a weeb through and through. Sure. Okay, minus here, maybe. Uh, I'll probably just minus here. Unfortunate. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I mean, just have to keep throwing stuff into counter spells. They've just had very, very clean answers to everything that we've done so far, and then continued to draw well afterwards. Not much to be said. I play my one spell a turn, they counter it. Basically, any one of our spells got through without a clean answer to it, probably would have won, but what can you do? What can you do? Mm -hmm. This one's kind of rough. I mean, it's just completely dependent on how their uh, hand is versus ours, right? Like, if they don't have the Ceremonious Rejection plus a Snap Ceremonious Rejection into the Mana Leak, into the, uh, like, having the Double Bolt to be able to easily answer with the Renin Six into uh, finding the way to bounce the Snapcaster Mage. 
Um, to make it so they have another mana leak. So they basically have four counter spells and a removal spell, and we can cast five spells. So like if they miss on one of them. Yeah. Now we just our field of ruin locked. Oh, that's how it goes. They just had they had the goods. Um, we needed to have a cavern of souls or um a chalice on one, on turn two. Or um to find Tron. We had many different ways to be able to break this game open. Um, we didn't find any of the ways, and uh, they had all the answers. That's how it goes. Hopefully, we can do better in the next round. I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, we're back for round two. What does the sand do? Not much. My opponent is almost surely playing blue white control, so we want to tailor our hand for that. Um, yes, I will keep this hand. I think this is fine. Maybe getting rid of a land is a mistake. He's a challenge winner, he sure is, in the Owen bracket. What you got for me? Land pass. I'm a fan. Let's find um, TKS off the top. <coughs> I'm gonna play this to me so we're not as bad. Versus a. Like to fairy time raveler. Just that? Alright. That's fine with me. Maybe playing this out is bad because of the fact that they could just like have Jace afterwards. But if they have Jace and they just like minus if they like have the exile here and Jace, I guess they can like plus and then we pump up the list and then try to kill it. We also like have Ugin plus all his does, so they'd kind of have to have Force Negation to get us. <laughs> what you gonna discard, opponent? Which Fortress? Okay. I will gladly accept the 3 for 1, especially when I'm down on cards. <laughs> okay, Pawn, what you got? What's the follow up? <laughs> Field O Ruin. Definitely worried about. <laughs> This is the card I care about the most getting a hit, I think. Uh, 
assume this is the one that's going to get Field of Ruined, and I want to be able to leave up mana to be able to tech edge them, plus um, pump this up. Hmm. That is highly unfortunate, actually. Highly unfortunate there. Dillion click, eh? That's very annoying. That is very annoying. Close to a disaster as it gets for me. This combo play is, is really, really bad for me. It's possible I want to have like a third waste in my deck again. I've already had it come up multiple games where I lose because I don't have any more waste because I feel the ruin in some paths. I think I want blast on here. Only have two waste, yes. I'm just gonna float the mana, then get the waste, then crack this. I wanna play this out first, play around mana leak, and then we can also just, we are also planning on pumping it up anyways. <laughs> Logic knot brutal. Opponents got the goods. My control players have got the goods these games against me. They are very good at having it. I think I want to be playing towards like double spelling because it really looks like they have a counter spell up. I think I want to blast zone this Vendillion click so that my Karn doesn't just die to it. Basically. I can also leave this up and just go to war if they like slam a Jace or something. This like punishes me a lot because they obviously have force negation, so I can't just all dust this.
I'm surprised they didn't force negation me going off on the click. I would have been very tempted to do it myself, but it depends on what the texture of their hand is. They didn't have to find a land, so they don't have a land. It's good for me, I guess. I can start doing this. gonna do this, leave up base mine tome, draw. $25.50 K, not bad. Mm -hmm -hmm. I wanna do this now because I can just you know draw a land to play. I just have so many cards in hand, like, chance of me winning is so low. There's no way this resolves, but, I mean, I have to try. <laughs> I know I could maze my tome on their turn, but I think getting this down is fine. Maybe so if they like find opt or something off of this, possibly we're fine. Force negation, pretty good. Well, this just doesn't do anything right now, so I'm just gonna wait to possibly double spell them. Get rid of this. That's a problem. That's maximum punish for me. Looks like. Okay. I can't do anything about this because I have the chalice. So maybe, just maybe, this can get me out of this. Let's see. I have to take the fairy time raveler here, or else I'm just dead. So, caster doesn't actually do anything. Yep, you have to take the fairy time raveler. I guess we could have taken the force as well. I guess that was probably better. But, I don't know. It's fairly hard for them to find an answer to this immediately. Probably was just supposed to take the force, actually. Probably would have been a bit better. I didn't think about just taking force and resolving this.
got rid of mana leak rather than the card that doesn't do anything into this. Interesting. So this is their hand. Yeah, Force of Dustin was probably better. This works as well. Okay, now I gotta dust bust them again. So they technically they have enough. I mean they're gonna time the reinforcements, which is some sort of a problem. I needed to scry there, that was a mistake. I guess we don't actually need to. I have a turn right? yep. There's only 25 of these that exist. Like my place. Could have played differently to make it so that this would not have killed me in a bunch of different spots. But, not. I'm out of uh, I'm out of practice. This matchup. <laughs> do you have to play the same decks as Conquest later? I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, opponent, let's see what they come out of the tank wheel. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, this hand seems reasonable enough to me. Draw the temple here because if we draw a TK, that's just like really good for us. Uh, I like jamming this a lot here. Let's get this down. If it gets path, it's not the end of the world. Actually, can't get path. Can't get that. <laughs> the child's the one in play. Uh. Probably gonna go get tech edge with this with how things are looking right now. Really unfortunate we have this waste right hand. I mean they're showing that they very obviously have a counter spell of some sort. Recent play our card into that could just be Archmage's Charm, which is not the greatest for us because we get a draw to. Dillion Click punishes us maximum here, of course. But the deck list almost assuredly only has one. Oh, they Dillion Click themselves. Okay, that's nice for us. So I'll just go get Blasso now instead. Something with that. With either from Dilling Click or a potential Jace that comes down on the board. <laughs> Arc Mage's Charm now. Trying to make their. Logic not better here, I have to imagine with that play. Okay, that was a very nice draw, of course. Chalice checking you. I highly doubt they're Chalice checking me. I have to imagine they're doing it for a logic knot. Some sort. Had Spellcaller. Interesting. Okay. That's fine. You know, decide if we want to take this up to four or not, uh, based on if they play Jace. Something else is potentially worse for me. I assume they're going to bounce the Chalice here. It would make the most amount of sense. If bounce the Chalice, try and hit a white land, kill my Smasher. You did not. I mean, I will just start with this, because if this resolves, they are just dead. Okay, got game two. 
these games are like super super weird because like a lot of the time it just feels like both of us are kind of just casting like one spell a turn and it's almost just like a tempo matchup to an extent like temp like if like one of us goes like okay one threat wait you have to deal with this eventually and then like jam another or just like continue to jam stuff like when start getting behind your stuff Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like kind of weird how these games actually play out. Like, Mattery Shaper kind of just like dealt a bunch of damage. Didn't really have a good answer to it. Man, do I want to keep this hand, but it's just like, doesn't do anything. Hmm. Keep this hand very, very reluctantly. Maybe the last hand is, re like, I just feel like you can't keep a hand that you just do absolutely nothing with. Like, the hand just did nothing. Like, it just had lands. I don't know, like, this hand obviously can draw into this, which is very appealing. Sucks that we have to lead on the Cavern of Souls here, but we have to to be able to, like, cast our TKS in the next turn. Uh, with it being uncounterable, of course. Surprised they did that, unless they have double opt. They don't. Wonder why they got Island there instead of just getting a tap land. Oh, uh, I just realized they brought in um They brought in Spellcaller. Hmm. Brought in Spellcaller. We have to still just jam here. Just really sucks if they have Spellcaller. Don't have the Spellcaller, so that's really good for me. Hmm. Take Cryptic Command, I guess. Yeah, I was just wondering if there's some way to, like, play around it. I assume I'm just going to get path through on the unstep. At least I have both my basics still in my deck, so the second path is not going to be as bad for us. We could have taken a path here. It's not that unreasonable to do. But I really didn't want to. Even though they can, like, deal with our TKS again, I kind of wanted to just clear the way for Karn if possible. Mentor. So they're gonna force a negation. <sighs> this punishes us for not taking force negation, which I thought about taking. Pathos. It's not actually that bad for us. This is not that bad of a situation, I think. Not actually in that rough of a situation because of our Ballista in hand and our Kern. Like if they have a counter spell, we almost surely gotta take it. I think I'm supposed to take Snapcast Mage here, and then we can just like Ballista for three, with them only having Force Negation in their hand. Deal with this.
fairly hard for them to have something. Yeah. If they did have something, it would be something that was like killing my ballista, so I don't feel as bad about killing this. Well, it does make it so we take some extra damage here, which is unfortunate. But, they had to use up a mana, so that's something for us. Maybe I'm not supposed to take the Snapcaster Mage because I have this Relic. So, maybe that was a mistake as well. <laughs> hmm. They just have Force Negation up, so we can't um, cast our card into it. Uh, they needed to draw the path there, or like some one mana spell there, like right then. <laughs> no real reason to play out there's is mine. Like, don't want to show that we have Tron. They really have the fourth path to exile. Okay. Not the end of the world. This will be a deck. It's possible. John. I need to find like something to get this force negation on the hand, because they almost assuredly almost assuredly have something to do with it. Maybe I was just supposed to like call Ugh. Draw steps have all been very, very good for them. Okay, ripping something here is going to be big. That punishes us really, really badly. Um, punishes us really, really badly. Because we could have gotten tech guys to deal with this. We're forced to play this out now. Because <sighs> now them drawing land is lethal. Didn't think about Expedition Map, should have just played out my mind. Fourth Path Exile, really? Damn, okay. Yeah, I guess they just, uh, did not miss, ever. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, if we would have taken the Force Negation, we probably would have won. I wasn't thinking that, I just had the Relic in hand, so that's my fault. Could have won this game, possibly. Yeah. Really unfortunate. Well, hopefully we do better in the next round and make a little bit less mistakes and not get uh, top decked on it as much. Yeah, we'll see you guys there. Okay, we're back for round three. We've got Tron on the opener. We'll see what it can do. <laughs> we'll should improve. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see if I can actually like do anything. Uh, Magic wise, and actually like be successful in any in any capacity. Gotta find like some sort of decks or some format or something that I can actually you know put some effort into and start again. Just uh, can't like can't seem to do anything basically. Can't seem to figure it out. <laughs> For a while, I was, like, doing well while I had decks in every format that I knew how to play and was doing well with, and, like... Not sure exactly what deck my opponent's on, but... I'll figure it out. Soon enough. 
Could be Dredge. Could just be Dredge. Not Dredge, it seems. Ponzo. My original thought was Ponzo, but Dredge is also something that could easily happen. There's Mine Sunny Power Plant. Sure. I kind of want to just play Chalice for three. Opponent hasn't done anything. Unreasonable. Cannot be right. There's no way a seven with this Red Green Titan. I think I'm going to Chalice three. Like, what do I have on three? Matter Shaper, right? That's it. Dismember. And find Chalice Link 3, I think, here. Especially with extra map, we can just go get Cavern of Souls if need be. Like, just feels like it's probably a bad Ponza hand. My opponent is 4 color control, maybe? I, I'm just, like, very confused about what my opponent's doing. I mean, if they're Red Green Titan, I mean, they got me, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Opponent's side of the board. I know I have... Hmm... Just want to like Chalice won them. Like I just have no idea what's happening right now. Maybe I'll Chalice two. Guess I'll just Chalice two. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I don't like having any action going on myself. If they get me with just like playing six lands and then tightening me, you know, I guess they got me right. I'm just gonna get Tech Edge here, I guess. Nope, I'll play this. I, I have no idea what my opponent's doing. I just. I just don't know. Just played four lands and conceded. I, I I'm not gonna sideboard. I guess they mull all. No, I don't think they mulligan. No, they mulligan to six. I just I guess they're like Titan Shift maybe. Like I I don't really know. I, I just don't know. I literally have no idea what my opponent's doing. Combo. Jared Green's not Red Green Ponzo. Yeah, I mean, I didn't do anything either, but like, I'm very confused about what my opponent's doing. Keep this in. Okay, so they gotta be Titan Shift now. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm on no sideboarding against Titan as well. I don't think there's anything I'd want to bring in. Hmm. 
This is blue, green side. No, it just looks like it's Titan Shift, which they're gonna be turning for Titaning me. They've got two ways to kill me next turn, you know, that's how it goes. Hmm. Let's see what you got, button. What you working with? Lightning bolt to me. Okay. So I have two lands in hand. Escape shift, escape shift. I guess they need to rip a land off the top. Which if they do, they win. But if they don't, I can tech edge them and then we've got like another turn. I don't... It, they basically need to draw exactly another lightning bolt. Yep, I mean, they had the goods. They had the double ramp, double payoff, three lands. I will make them scape shift because, you know, based on what I saw in game one, I'm not so sure they'll be able to resolve their scape shift correctly. I am not confident in my opponent's ability to understand how their combo works. <laughs> Although, I would not uh, be surprised if they completely understood how their combo works. Definitely done this before, where our opponent got two, uh, two Valakuts, five Mountains, and then I just won. Hmm. Opponent seems to know what they're doing, unfortunately. Legendary escape to six lands, but stay two and open ones. That's seven clan in hand. Oof. This feels bad, man. I think we're just supposed to run it back. Hmm. Hmm. No, not gonna cut it. This ain't definitely not gonna cut it. No lands. No good. Oh, Chalice of the Void. Probably not. Probably getting Tech Edge is better here. I'd love to find, like, Karn the Great Creator or something off the top that breaks it open. TKS, Thought Not Seer. Both cards I'm looking for. Hmm. They did keep bolts in game two. That is unbelievable. That is actually unbelievable to me. That's just straight unbelievable. This, there we go. Play a map. <laughs> yep, 
I'm very confused by Cavern myself, don't worry. Hmm. No list of the tech edge of the cavern? No. The tech edge of the stomping ground. Get that out of here. This is unbelievable. Razgun, Supram. This this is ungodly. How do you have that in your deck? As I'm just, I am awestruck. Yep. John lands for the three draw steps that we've had so far. So it doesn't really matter what we do, does it? gonna have six mana for a titan next turn if they want to which they don't want to it seems for whatever reason they go for i couldn't tell you what my bone's doing you know Tower here, I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. That is a funny draw. not using the EE either. I don't, I just, I just don't understand. I just don't understand not using this EE for so long. I just don't understand, man. I just don't understand. This person obviously knows something that I don't. They have lethal here, actually. Do I have lethal here? Let me check. I think I have lethal. I dismember on the end step. Shoot, I have 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, up to 7, 7. Yeah, I have lethal. Oh. 
Well, I had uh, no business winning this game ever in a million years. Um, but we got it. Just, uh, how do I feel about getting roasted by Austin Versovich when? They refuse to pop it. Yeah. If they're trying to play around Chalice, they could have just popped it on the end step like last turn. I just don't understand. Time. I I literally don't remember that at all. Well, somehow we won that game. We did not deserve to win this at all, but that's how it goes. Uh, well, hopefully we can win the next one. Salvage ourselves some QPs and get the 2-2. Two -two. I'll see you guys in the next round. Okay, guys, we're back for the final round. We're on the play. Opponent is playing Dredge, I was told by him. Scavenger grounds you. I think I'm going to keep this hand because we have the scavenger grounds. Oh, do I really want to keep this hand just from the scavenger grounds? It's kind of poo poo doo doo besides that. And if like they're kind of on a slow hand, like the scavenger grounds doesn't do much. I'm gonna mulligan actually. And it's like even worse, I feel like. It's not cutting it. It's, it's not cutting it. Okay. I mean, all those hands were just atrociously bad, so what are you going to do, right? Okay. I think Chalice is not particularly good here. Conceal problem. Um, I think this is how I want to sideboard. Seems fine to me. I mean, it's, it's whatever. Matchup game one is... It's not necessarily bad, but we need specific cards to, to do what we need to be doing. They kept seven, and we just like mulligan to nothing. It's possible we are supposed to keep the floor, the the four, but I think there's threes which just like have Tron or like have double Temple TKS that like fun keeping. So I mean, sometimes that's how it goes. I'm gonna keep this hand. I mean, if we get, like, Nature's Claim in our map, it's a feels bad, man, but, you know, that's the life we live. Don't Nature's Claim this, please. Thank God. Here can chill, okay. Life from one, okay. Can Castle Grand Breed cast multiple creature lost ability that total up to six mana? Yeah, it gives you six mana that you can I believe it gives you six mana that you can use towards creature spells or activated abilities of creatures. I believe that is the wording of it. Don't be cathartic, be just casting life alone, please. Okay, this actually isn't the worst cathartic for me. Tower of Power. What a tower, okay. They have a con flag in their graveyard, I kind of just want to get rid of it right now. Each on the 
this viable deck. I think it's viable. I don't know how like good it is, but I do think it's viable for sure. I want to get rid of it because of like the stink we didn't there. They just have another cathartic, you know. Got me, didn't they? No problem. Lord Kara. Kara, Kara. However you want to say it. Let's mm -hmm. take a see what they're working with. This lightning axe kind of sucks for me, but it's life. Not lightning axe. Surprised they shocked the. Oh, I see why they shocked it because of Forgotten K. Let's get rid of that. Angels are they down? One, two. Think I want to be doing this? This could just be wrong, though. Oh, they didn't have anything to dredge. That's great for me. Because they're picking up, like, Forgotten Cave and cycling it. Yeah, I know that drink that, that uh, Tron won the NRG. But, I mean, any deck can win a modern tournament, I think. And while I do think that Tron is viable and is possibly, like, even more than viable and just, like, very good. Yeah. Yeah, we just have them dead with the Smasher, right? Okay. Game three. Mox in your phone. A broken clock is right twice a day, final nub. And same goes for com combo decks that have potential broken openers. <laughs> Gonna be a rough one to win game three, but we do have two relics and a graph juice case. Hope for the best. Whoever you are. As I said, we, we had something like this. We'll keep this in. Yep. Well, we can play as soon as I'm done with this match. <laughs> okay. Don't have a way to kill my grafter's cage, please. Don't play Ancient Grudge. Don't play Ancient Grudge. Yes, yes, yes. Poggers. Huh. Sometimes the Silver Bullet is good enough. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to see. That is not what I wanted to see. Needed to find something to do. This hand, that blast zone is brutal to see. No land somehow. 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 Yeah, I mean, that is a card. Maze Mind Tome is a card that can get us into it, potentially. No land, please? Just continue the no lands? Cathartic Union. Hmm. 
They did find a land, obviously. Or something, or else they wouldn't have dredged, I think. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Can get feeling. That's one way to do it. Didn't even have to scry. Hmm. Did not even have to scry. I mean, not playing the correct land on turn 4 may actually come back to bite me, because I could have theoretically had Troll on this turn and then have Ugin out, plus my Karn. It's a big thing. Take out my Grafticus Cage. So, I think we may lose this game because I might mess up on turn 4. No real reason to scry that I can think of. I'm not gonna pop on that. That would be a mistake to pop there. I think we do this. Hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to pop crypt yet, still. I think I'm still supposed to just wait here, wait on the crypt, and then like pop it when they force us to pop it essentially, like there's something that forces us to pop it. Those are fine. And then we can um, bring back Relic of Genitus with Karn the Great Creator. Well, we don't necessarily bring back Relic because of this, we'll, we'll bring back something. And we have scavenger grounds to go get with this as well. We also can gain some life here.
<laughs> well, it is always difficult, you know, to know exactly when to use these crypts. And... <laughs> yes, I'm still listening to the music. Thank you very much. Sure, that was fun. I think this is fine to crypt now. And then we can just scavenger grounds afterwards. Just getting warm coal engine here is good. Yep, they've seen enough. Last year, yeah. Well, three non games. Yep, <laughs> that's uh, that's how dredge goes sometimes. Oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit me with a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.